Today I'm going to show you what dichroic mirror is, how it works, the colors it comes in. In addition, I'm going to share some really cool projects you can do with it. A dichroic mirror is also known as a color effect glass and living glass. It's commonly used in infinity mirrors, futuristic art, lighting effects, and even construction of new buildings to create that iridescent color mix. Hi, I'm Natasha, mirror wizard with two-way mirrors. Each week we bring you exclusive lessons based on our expertise in the glass industry. Subscribe now so you don't miss them. Let's get started. Decro Glass has multiple transparent mirror layers that reflect the precise colors of light and allows other glass to pass through. Here's an example of the blue gold decro glass. When I shine a light on it, you can see yellow on the glass surface and the light that comes through shows up as blue. Scientific applications include optic industries where optical filters select narrow bands of color for robotic and electrical equipment. But let's be real guys, it's all about the beauty and art when it comes to color effect glass. Biggest advantage of ordering the dichroic glass rather than a dichroic film is that the mirror coating is hard, extremely scratch resistant, and as well as thermally and chemically resistant. So it is ideal for outdoor installations where the glass is exposed to all the elements. Another application of dichroic glass is to create optical glass sculptures by laying the dichroic glass with clear and mirrored glass to produce an extremely elegant masterpiece. It can take years to create such a masterpiece. Jack Storms is the leader in this field of art. My favorite piece of his is the Chroma Cube. This is created using a cold working load. No heat involved in this process whatsoever. In this particular piece, there is 32% dichroic glass within it. Since the dichroic glass is a lot like a two-way mirror with the transparent coating, you can use it to create infinity mirrors and smart mirrors as well. On the scientific side of things, dichroic mirror coatings and filters are applied to the glass to selectively pass light of small range of colors through while reflecting the other colors. This can be seen in robotic machines. One example is the calibration machine that moves around and detects the edges of the circuit board when something new is placed or removed from it. Using the dichroic filter process, it is easy to see the edges of the circle on the circuit board and therefore can be more accurate when realigning the machine to the perfect position to continue functioning. Some LCD projects also use the dichroic filters instead of prisms to split the white light from the lamp into three colors, passing it through the LCD units. The dichroic glass really looks amazing in architecture applications. First off, we have the Harpa Concert Hall and Conference Center. Use color changing glass depending on the lighting condition. This is made possible by the optical interference layers of the dichroic color effect glass. The colors range from warm golds, lava reds, and winter blues. The building itself is 28,000 square meters, inspired by the basalt columns in Iceland. To get the visual result, a ton of hexagonal bricks were combined in such a way it looked like a zigzag pattern. I absolutely love this because it not only uses the dichroic glass, but there are more than 1,005 and six-sided glass elements, utilizing anti-reflective glass to make this a visual masterpiece. Secondly, Lynn University in Florida made a remembrance plaza to represent a positive mood. They used this piece of art to remember six members who were killed in Haiti from a hotel collapsing that the group was staying in. The school wanted to make it a positive statement for them and not to be sad. They used six pillars in three-dimensional patterns. The colors of the dichroic glass they picked is the blue-green version for the students and the blue-gold for the teachers. This created a rainbow effect through the glass. Then thirdly, the Bavarian State Opera also used dichroic glass to set itself apart. This building has an interesting history considering the building has been destroyed during World War II. Since the city center has completely renovated itself and is now popping with action, and this building is the centerpiece of the now thriving downtown area, the architecture used laminated safety glass as the middle section facade, layering with green dichroic glass within it. For this piece, multiple panes of glass were laminated together edge by edge. 
Fourth, we have a luxury shopping mall called Pretemps Haussmann. It's a must-see if you are in Paris, along with the Eiffel Tower and the Louvre Museum. Sorry if I butchered the names. This was actually not an original construction, and was more of a renovation of the store. They used over 12,000 pieces of dichroic glass, including blue gold, blue green, green, may green, yellow, and orange. The dichroic glass reflects some of the colors that allow light to pass through it, to produce a striking effect in the evening hours. During the Christmas season, the colorful panes attract more than 10 million visitors. If you're visiting this year, it might be hard to social distance, so don't forget to wear a mask. Lastly, we have the Turkmenistan Tower, also known as the TV Tower. It's an eight-pointed star in 145 meter high revolving restaurant that is 475 feet tall. The tower has a special color blue for this exceptional project. It was a custom color specially made for this installation, not found anywhere else. Contractors also said it was a challenge developing and executing the client's colors. When you think about mirror coatings, you typically choose from what is available. To create something custom like this, you'd have to order tons of it in the same color for it to be worth it to the glass manufacturer. Coatings are expensive. Now I'm gonna go over every color we have in stock right now so you can see how the light reflects and passes through. So here's a blue, gold. Notice how the glass looks yellow, but the light passing through shows through as blue. The blue-green is very similar to the blue-gold, but the green color is more minty in my opinion, and the reflected light on the glass surface is a lighter color yellow. The May Pink has a really nice bright lime green transmission to it, with a batching pink hue on the surface, complementing each other nicely. The standard green reminds me of watermelon, but is more subtle. The May Green has a really nice bright lime green transmission to it, with a batching pink hue on the surface, complementing each other nicely. The orange dichroic mirror provides a high contrast and reminds me of a sports team. Okay guys, that takes you through it. We have each of these colors available in stock, ready to cut and ship immediately in custom sizes. If you are interested, check out our website, tuimirrors.com or shoot me an email. Stay tuned to the very end of this video if you're interested in learning more about our video recording process. Until next time, I'm Natasha, Mirror Wizard with 2 mirrorscom We recorded this video with the green screen. Since we make videos so often, we painted the background green. This makes video production faster with less setup. I'm reading my script off our presidential teleprompter that is displaying an iPad with PromSmart Pro. I love this software because I can set it up to scroll slowly or use voice activation to get through the script quickly and efficiently. Check it out though. With the shroud, we can see text clearly and the teleprompter mirror we use is 30% reflective and 70% transparent on a low iron glass. So the camera quality is not affected by the glass. Right now we're using the Canon IDX Mark III to record the main footage. To show you behind the scenes area here, we're right now we're using a Samsung Note 9 on an Osmo Mobile 3 to create a buttery smooth B-roll. Don't worry, I'll leave all the links below for all our gear so you can check it out. Okay guys, that takes you through it. I'm Natasha with Two Way Mirrors, and I'll see you in my next video. Peace out.